This nine pound hammer Just a little too heavy For my size For my size I'm going on the mountain Gonna see my baby But I ain't coming back Well, I ain't coming back Roll on, buddy Don't you roll so slow Well, how can I roll When the wheels won't go Roll on, buddy Pull your load of coal Tell me how can I pull when the uh, Helston is a, a working town. Um, it is um, about two miles from the coast. Um, it is, is a busy little town. Um, it is set in, in, on a kind of um, on a hill and um, it has the, the Navy is situated, the Royal Navy is situated here. So we have lots of people that are working within the Navy. Um, so I guess I would say uh, the difference between Palooganoo and Helston is that our town is a working town more than maybe a kind of resort town. Nine pound hammer, kill John Henry, but it won't get me, ain't it gonna get me? Well, I'm just a poor boy, a long way from... Well, I was on the council that actually uh, was approached by Pluganoo to become uh, a twin. We, of course, had not heard of Pluganoo, um, and so we had did a bit of checking to see if, what Pluganoo was like, and we could see it was a town and area that had similarities to, to, to Helston in some ways, to the area. And after a lot of discussion and debate, it was felt that, yes, we would very much like to twin roll with Pluganoo. Roll on, buddy, don't you roll so slow. Tell me how can I roll when the wheels won't go. Roll on, buddy. Alors, les projets du comité de jumelage, c'est tout d'abord de, de continuer à favoriser euh, les échanges, notamment euh, entre jeunes, puisque c'est quelque chose qui avait été initié entre le, le collège de Pluganou et le, le collège d'Elston, euh, mais aussi euh, des échanges aussi entre les habitants de Pluganou et les habitants d'Elston. Et euh, il avait été question euh, déjà depuis quelque temps d'essayer de mettre en relation euh, des personnes de Pluganou et des personnes d'Elston qui ont des, des passions communes et euh, de, de, de servir de, le comité de jumelage servant d'intermédiaire de, de, entre, euh, entre les contacts pluganistes et les contacts euh, à Elston, car ce comité de jumelage a, a un but évidemment linguistique, un, évidemment culturel, mais euh, principalement aussi euh, l'objectif est de favoriser les relations humaines et, et, et de centrer ça euh, voilà, sur l'humain et sur les échanges et sur, le, le, et sur ce qu'on peut en tirer, sur l'enrichissement personnel que ça peut, que ça peut en dégager et, et cela c'est vraiment très intéressant de ce point de vue-là. Nous avons euh, régulièrement, euh, tous les deux mois, un café langue hein, qui est organisé dans un établissement de, de Pluganou euh, ou des environs, euh, dans lequel on parle l'anglais et d'autres langues européennes. Euh, nous avons organisé euh, un, des cours d'anglais qui permettent aux Pluganistes euh, d'apprendre la langue de Shakespeare et de pouvoir communiquer avec euh, nos amis d'Elston. De, et puis, euh, donc, tous les deux ans, euh, nous allons à, à Elston. Et l'année euh, suivante, les gens d'Elston viennent nous rendre à, euh, visite à Pugin. Pluganoo uh, Twinning Group invited us over and we went and spent um, uh, two days in Pluganoo um, uh, to do a show for, for the town. Um, uh, the, the hospitality, the, the hospitality was second to none. Uh, the families were very welcoming. Even though we couldn't all speak English or French, it was, uh, you know, we all got by and we all learned how to communicate in other ways. Um, one, of the, one of the nicest nights I enjoyed was uh, when we did the show. Uh, at the end of the show, we went and had some lovely food in, in the, the village hall and uh, at the, in the evening all, all the members came and we all sang a song from one of the shows and all, 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 the, all our hosts got involved and were singing as well so that was a really really nice nice feeling that we all connected really with, uh, with uh, the families of Pluganoo. Just to get a little brew Just to get a little brew When 
and I'm long gone. Just make my tombstone out of number nine coal. C'est vrai que euh, certaines familles échangent régulièrement entre elles et même peuvent se recevoir en dehors du comité de jumelage. Et ça, c'est très intéressant parce qu'on euh, voit que des liens euh, se créent euh, plus forts que, que les simples liens euh, dus au comité de jumelage. It would be quite nice for more exchanges so that more people from Helston could go there and more people from, from Pluganoo could come over to here. Um, which, but, but you need more families to do that. So it'd be quite nice if there was more publicity so that people in Helston knew what was going on so that you could say, yes, I've got a spare room. Yes, I would host a family. And it would be nice for them to host us as well. It's, you know, I'm, I'm very much in favor of, of Europe. Uh, I'm uh, connections uh, between the two countries and communities. And uh, I felt very much at home in Pluganoo. I felt the surroundings, the geography, the, the, uh, the stone of the place made me feel very much at home. And of course, we're divided by language, but I had just spent several weeks in America with my family. And of course, I got on very well with my family, but I met other Americans as well. When I came to Pluganoo, I felt that I was a European. I felt that I had a greater similarity of views and opinions and ideas and way of looking at life to the people I met in Pluganoo as opposed to, to America, which was quite a, a revelation to me. I think Brit Brittany is wonderful. It's just like a bigger Cornwall. I first went in 1955 after the war and we go to the Celtic Congress every six years. Uh, I go over to see the family once or twice in the, each year in Brittany um, and they used to live in Wren for a time so we went there but they're now in Plugast or Dallas so, which I prefer, it's nearer the ferry. We go over on the ferry from Plymouth to Roscoff and um, so it's easy to go and I feel very much at home in Brittany. I think that Cornwall and Brittany has always had strong links. The language was almost the same and I think it's wonderful to get to know people in an area that you like, that the people that you like and it helps to um, to just cement understanding between different people and it's good for both places and it should be good for the young people who really need to understand that somewhere is not very far away and strange, that it's part of our culture as well. Mm -hmm.